Hey, what's going on, maniacs? You know who it is. Madman here. So, what's doing? Well, I'll tell you what's doing. Tonight's video is going to be an update video just to kind of like let you know that, yes, I'm still alive. I haven't gone anywhere. I've just been busy and dealing with some cabin fever because it's just been fucking so cold out here and too much snow and shit like that. My get up and go is got up and went. But yeah, man, I've still been, a, you know, I've still been around and been working on a lot of designs for next month I'm going to start releasing and uh, been working on my art. I got some really kick-ass art supplies for Christmas. <sighs> So I've been using those, playing where I'm playing around with them, and I'll definitely be doing some reviews on that. So for some of my people that are really interested in art and tutorials and shit like that, well, I got some cool stuff coming along those lines. Now, for those that have been messaging me, which has been quite a bit recently, about wanting to send me like letters and pomade and, and stuff to review, t-shirts from different businesses that I've uh, talked to, um... I don't have a P.O. box set up at the moment, so that's not really possible, but I'm going to be looking into setting one up. So when I do, I'll make sure that I let everybody know what that P.O. box is. I'll post it all over my social media so you guys will know how to get a hold of me and be able where to send it. So that'll be coming up very soon as well. I also want to cover something else. Now, for a long time now, I've been getting messages or comments with people asking for me to do a, a self-defense video, like how to defend yourself, because as many of you know that I'm a martial arts instructor, I've taught for years, it's one of the side jobs that I do, and I got to thinking about it, I've always been a little bit reluctant to do it because there is so much, there's so much competition in the martial arts world. Uh, here on YouTube, and it's always uh, my style's better than your style, and this style's not as good as this style, and all that kind of crap. And honestly, that's all relative. It has nothing to do so much with the style or anything like that. It has to do with the practitioner and how they've trained and what they can do with what they've been taught. It's like tools, you know what I mean? You can take shitty tools and accomplish great things if you know what you're doing and you're willing to dedicate the time to do so. But anyway, getting back on point, <clears throat> I sat down and I was brainstorming how I would put this thing together. And I realized that I'm not going to be able to do it in just one video. There's too many things to teach, at least for the basics. The basics alone, it's going to take more than one video. So I was thinking about doing a mini series, you know, like one on blocking, you know, one on punching, the mechanics, the science of it, kicking, the different ranges, you know, kicking range, punching range, grappling range, that whole thing. And also throwing in some safety tips and some uh, mindset and tactics that will help you learn how to use those tools and develop those tools. Make sense? You dig? So if you're interested in that, leave me a comment below and you know let me know what you think because I can do that ain't gonna be anything fancy or anything like that but I can definitely do it if you guys would be interested in that now I've also had people ask me about the raffle is the raffle still on yes the raffle is still on I still need to put everything together and do that however I was thinking about changing up the dynamics on that instead of uh, getting a canvas and then painting since I've been working so much with my art supplies, I was thinking about getting a good sized paper. Instead of like painting something, I was thinking about doing like a, a decent sized comic panel piece for you guys. You know, with markers, you know, inked and everything like that, the old school way. And I'll do videos covering me actually doing it so you can see me drawing it. And, all that and it will come with like a letter of authenticity you know authenticity and uh, I'll sign it and the whole bit like that so if you'd be interested in like a really kick-ass like comic panel you know with like hot rods and fucking chicks and guys and races and motorcycles and switchblade fights and all that crazy shit something you'd see in a comic book I think that would be a really good fucking way to start and test the whole raffle idea so let me know what you think in the comments below. The Madman has been working on 
an idea for, and I kind of consider it like a medium term project, something I want to start looking into and play around with. Mad Men was thinking about starting a magazine. And I don't know, we'll call it something like Mad Men Magazine or something crazy like that. It'll be like an online thing. And what I was thinking about doing is because like in the old school rods, car culture deluxe and all those, you know, it's like the same old stuff, the same old stuff over and over and over. And what I want to do is I want to give an opportunity to a lot of, uh, you know, vendors and people that are coming on the scene that have really cool stuff to offer, you know, artists, musicians, uh, car fabricators, people that are um, just starting out or are looking to build a reputation within this industry that are not getting opportunities in other ways. And I was thinking about doing like our own, like kind of like underground online fucking rockabilly greaser type psychabilly, you know, magazine, start having up and coming bands, established bands, get interviews in their pictures. I'd love to start covering shows around the world. You know, because we got a lot of people from around the world that are really interested in this style, that are very much a part of it. There are brothers, there are sisters, and I think it'd be really cool uh, to start covering shows in other countries as well. It's like, you know, oh, this is happening in Denmark, this is happening in the UK, Japan just threw a show here, Australia did this, Germany did that, France did this, you know, the USA is doing this over here. It's like getting this, you know, starting to try to like pull it all together worldwide which I think would be really cool and really unite the uh, the culture the subculture in and of itself so this is something that I'm looking into I'm playing around with the idea and uh, I'll let you guys know more about that as that progresses also I'm still working on the book I'm still getting stuff done on that so hopefully by the end of this year that'll be kicked off all edited up and ready to go as well so I just wanted to kind of affiliate on some of these updates I got a lot of stuff that I'm facing right now um, that's also one of the reasons I've been doing a video recently is I've just my mind's been buzzing I'm all over the fucking place and I'm trying to figure out and put in order what I want to do well anyway Mad Band's out I will be doing some more videos very very soon so just stay tuned hang with me you know uh, they're coming it's just trying to figure out what order to do stuff in and I'm all over the fucking place right now so I need to take a little time to try to get my head together and figure out what direction I want to take this channel this year because I want to get on to do some bigger and better things. So as always, if you don't know, get a clue, get a brew, get a rock and roll tattoo, hang loose, and be safe. Madman is out. Don't forget to like, share, favorite, comment. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter, Instagram. Go ahead and sign up for my blog at www.crypticart.com. And if you like t-shirts, coffee mugs, tote bags, journals, clocks, hoodies, go check out my Redbubble store. The links are all in the description below.